Hello everyone, you are watching another episode of Military TV. In today's session, we will discuss some reasons why the TU-95 Bear has been in service for so long. If you are curious on this topic, stay tuned only at this channel. Best known by its NATO codename as the Bear, the Soviet Tu-95 was the most distinctive aircraft of the Cold War. It first flew in 1952, like Britain's Avro Vulcan and America's Boeing B-52, which are still in service to this day. The aircraft will be upgraded to keep it in operation until at least the 2040s, giving it a near 100-year service history in the Russian Air Force. Here are some reasons why this aircraft has been operated for so long. First, there is no other aircraft that is good enough to replace this type. The Tu-95 primary mission currently is maritime surveillance and it performs admirably in that capacity. It can be done since this aircraft has a 15,000 km range which is critical for maritime surveillance tasks. Maritime reconnaissance normally necessitates several hours of flying at a time, and it is feasible to refuel while in the air to extend the duration of the mission. Due to its great range and ability to fly at slower speeds to pace targets, it can linger near such targets for hours to keep an eye on them. It is also important to note that the marine version of the Tu-95 can accurately locate the targets of ships and submarines. Perhaps the most well-known variant of the Tu-95 is Tu-95RT. This aircraft is a maritime surveillance type that was used extensively during the Cold War. It can show where surface ships, submarines, and other Soviet aircraft are positioned, such as bombers. A radar antenna used to search for surface ships is hidden beneath the fuselage by a huge bulge. Another reason to mention is that the aircraft could carry a large payload of missiles. The Tu-95 houses a large bomb bay at the center of gravity of the aircraft, which is immediately aft of the wing central torsion box. The Tu-95MS Bear H is capable of carrying six KH-55 Granat nuclear-armed long-range cruise missiles with a range of 3,000 kilometers. The missiles are mounted on a catapult launch drum in the bomb bay. The aircraft can also carry 14 anti-ship KHSD missiles with a range of 600 kilometers, or 8 conventionally armed KH-101 air launch cruise missiles with a range of up to 3,000 kilometers. Moreover, this aircraft has been highly adaptable to upgraded systems. Despite its age, the Tu-95 bomber has been upgraded over the years to ensure that it will continue to serve in Russian airspace well into the 2040s. The fleet is currently being modernized with a contract to upgrade the Tu-95MS to Tu-95MSM was signed in August 2021. All these system and weapon upgrades ensure that the Tu-95 can still function today. Lastly, this type of aircraft is likely to level up Soviet's reputation. The Tu-95 has been a symbol of Soviet pride and prestige since its introduction into service. This aircraft is frequently seen throughout Moscow's victory parades and at Russian air shows. Even outside of Russia, bears are occasionally sent to European air shows, and the Tu-95 has practically become Russia's national symbol. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to like, share, comment, and the most important one is to click the subscribe button for more updates on awesome videos. See you next time.